Welcome back everyone. Uh, in today's video I'm going to make a quick overview of my monitoring setup which consists of three 50 amp 100 volt charge controllers. The first one which is hooked up to this 5 amp charge controller 12 volt 24 volt and a 30 watt solar panel. I have it hooked up to this. The second one is hooked up to the 20 amp charge controller and this charge controller is hooked up to the 50 watt solar panel and as for the third one last but not the least it's hooked up to the output side from the, the DC power so in essence the, the name of the game here the cables come from the solar panels their respective panels come to this charge controller as you can see the cable actually go, it goes down you see that at the back it goes down to this battery right there. Now I have this air cartons just to ensure that no dust get into the tiny hole over there. It's a flat lead asset deep cycle battery from Rhino Power. See that red cable there? Let's follow the breadcrumbs. Screw here it's over the shunt to the strip connector. This yellow or the yellow green cable is for the USB side of things. There's two cables that came from the batteries in the middle and the red one to my left and the white one to my right goes to the car tape on the stereo. So positive side, negative side. So a quick um, one main benefit which is actually goes without saying that it's important to know the amount of power that your system produces. I've mentioned this quite a lot in the past, having a voltmeter is important, but it's only the first step because all it tells you is the state of charge of the battery. Second good point is, like in this case, this panel is rated to produce 3 amps, 3.03, .03 when it's, um, when that's the max it can pull in. I always assume that this 40 watt or 50 watt panel I wasn't sure about the figures, so with having a more simple monitoring system actually showed me that no, it is a 50 watt panel. I'm looking for, I might make a video of it actually producing the total, it's simple 18.6 multiplied by 1.7 and then it should give you the total power of the source, or in this case the solar panel. And just a side note, um, the open circuit voltage of my solar panel at this very moment is 22.6 before the dust to dawn feature kicks on so there were actually uh, two options of connecting it in this case it's red and yellow to the positive side of the solar panel this is true for this charge controller as you can see the red and yellow it's hooked up to the positive side you see the red ah there we go the red and the same is basically true for this it's also going to the it's try, it was my attempt to keep it as neat as possible since there's wires basically all over the place and but for the DC output side um, I actually have it hooked up to this USB A port the voltage output of this is 4.9697 which is perfectly in line with the power requirements just for the display the power drawn is around less than 20 milliampers. This is actually incorrect. It's supposed to be 4.5. This was just a diagram I searched on Google, a Google search, just so I can have a simple diagram of how to have it hooked up. But for this particular specific brand, it should be 4.5 to 30 volts. So that could represent a 12 volt battery, a 8 volt battery, a 9 volt battery, as long as it falls within that range. Um, all systems go but I might have to do some wiring some extra wiring I, I guess I have to go with the, the main option of having all of them hooked up to this because if I can do that that simply means I'm basically now potentially opened myself up to 600 watts why 600 watts because 25 amps is the max that I want to push through this uh, VA meters volt amp meter and this is, this is very close to my heart, this 25 amp or the 24 volt. I also can go to the 48 volt, 25 amp or oh, 1200 watts. Oh, it's, it's 
almost juicy to say the least. So this is a quick overview of my monitoring system. I thank you so much for watching till the end. See you guys in the next one.